Good morning. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. And today is Friday, September 30th. And today marks the end of the quarter and also at the end of the month trading. So this is a very important day. We're going to see how this is going to play out. This is the pre-market game plan for major future indices, gold and oil. As usual, we're going to start with the hourly chart in YM. YM price has stabilized into 18,000 level and this doesn't want to give up this uh, it price doesn't want to give up uh, that easily around this price range so we had uh, actually four bounces off this price range we're heading higher a little bit but then you know we're trading into this chop chop that we had a, a couple of days ago so this is going to be the question right here so today's trading environment is going to be a little tough not only that is the end of the uh, the end of the quarter and the end of the month where usually uh, there's a calibration happening uh, but we have certain uh, economic releases today that have uh, somewhat of an impact on the dollar that have some kind of an impact on the market so with that being said let's take a look at major support resistance areas for today and why am so support 18,000 and resistance is right here at 18,125. so once we break above this area what I would wait for in this area is some confirmation that the price is ready to take out this 125 level right here as long as the price is going to take out the 125 level i will look on a two minute chart for a support level where i can place my stop and then i could take it for a quick mini scalp to the upside into 18150 where we have this 200 moving average hovering about above price once we break above this 18,150, we have odds of continuing higher. But once again, the big line in the sand is going to be that area that we have confronted for the last three weeks. Do you remember, guys, what area that is? It's 18,170. It comes from, uh, this is resistance, and it comes from a prior support area all the way in August. If we break above this area of 18,175 or 80 around this area, we have room to move higher into 250 and 300. But this is going to be very, very tough right here, and the bulls need to fight a lot of obstacles in order to have a higher trajectory so so far we're having another sideways pattern we have been sideways more pre precisely until october 9th so almost close 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 to a month so for the last three weeks we have been we have tested this eighteen thousand level moved up came back down moved up came back down for next week, if we continue to move up into 18,165, and this is for those of you that are looking at extended hours on Sunday night and perhaps would like to trade that, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up because if the price is going to continue over 18,175, you're going to have room to go all the way to 300 and all the way to 360. That is going to be another tough area to digest, and it's going to start at 18. 350 that's going to be the area right there but once we escape that that area in the long run we're able to run higher so i just want to give you a little bit of heads up of what i see in the market moving uh moving forward all right so for ym today's parameters unfortunately we don't have a clear pattern on it it favors an upside right here but at the same time we're into a very sloppy range from 1800 all the way to 18125 this is the level like i said i'm going to wait for a break of uh of this area if it should happen if it should happen so if we're going to get a break of this area then we're going to have a little bit more confirmation that we might head higher but don't forget we have this chop chop to digest and we're going to see if the press is ready to uh take uh take out that area uh, let's take a look at ES. Maybe things are getting much clearer once we take a look at some other indices. So uh, ES has been stronger than YM, and it is actually, if you're looking at a higher time frame chart, is actually forming an ascending 
uh, an ascending pattern. So it's trying to rise uh, on the daily chart right now, trading at 21.50. It's trying to erase this resistance area right here. And like YM, it's going to have the same issue. So we're confronted with this whole lot of resistance to the left side a hand side of the trade but once we digest this area and as you can see here we're pinching this 200 moving average so if the price travels to again to 2152 and it finds and it finds support right here at 2150 a little bit of uh, uh 2140 and change this is going to be your new entry for long and you're going to look for 2155 as target one, you're going to look for 2160 as target two, and you're going to look for 2165 and 2166, even 67 for today. Uh, but that's going to be extremely bullish. And I don't know if the environment is going to favor a whole lot of bullishness today with the whole Deutsche Bank uh, uh, issue that is uh, pending right now in the market. So with that being said, if today is going to be a range day, uh, we're going to look to play out this range from uh, from support to resistance. So uh, either or for quick scalps, you uh, you could either take uh, you could even take shorts, um, uh, uh, shorts off these tops right here uh, and longs. But again, extreme, extreme caution and go to a higher time frame chart for more clarity, because I think if you were going to trade today, the one minute chart, it's going to whip whip you out of the game. Uh, let's move on to NQ. Uh, so NQ a little stronger uh, than uh, ES and YM. So if we're going to get a push higher, and like you see here, we had a little push higher from 3 a.m. So this is really nice that it came in, in the London session and perhaps wait for the price to stabilize throughout the New York, uh, in the New York session in the first uh, maybe five to 10 minutes. And uh, we can take this higher. If we digest this area over 48.50, then we head higher into uh, this prior high right here at 48.75. And I think this is gonna be the area uh, that we uh, need to clear before moving higher and even challenging that 48.92 area that we have. Uh, you're gonna see prices uh, trading above the 200 moving average. Uh, we are, uh, again, into resistance area. Like I said, into resist resistance areas from uh, from these highs right here, from these lows right here. But once we digest over this area, look for a tight stop in order to go higher. And my parameters, like I said, I'm gonna look for 48.50 over 48.50 and probably 48, uh, 48, 40, 48, 45 for a stop. Uh, you have plenty of, re of plenty of reward to the upside for a risk like that. Um, also, let's take a look at GC, and this is gold. Gold has been rising overnight, uh, and it actually triggered a daily buy. I found support right here at 1320, and I, I feel a, a, like this is becoming a stereotype because we have been talking for this area for so long. Uh, it's trying to to kind of like uh, uh, bottom out in this area into the 20 area. It has a secondary support area at 1312, uh, 1312, 1313. Uh, but the overall picture on the daily chart does not uh, favor uh, uh, does not favor a longer term trade. Uh, it does, and once you clear this area right here, you can see that it's really trying to clear this area. Uh, once price gets gets above uh, this uh, 1331, 1332 area, it has room to run higher, and the target for today is going to be 1336. Now, it really depends on what the market is going to do today, and there are a lot of things that are going to influence the market today, uh, but nonetheless, the maximum target that uh, you can look for is 1336, 1340 and then you're going to enter into 1342 so that's going to be like uh all uh favorable 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 target right here this is going to be a last target area for today uh nonetheless it is moving higher and it uh, since um, um since this open that happened uh, at a little over eight o'clock it pulled back on a small time frame and it rallied so so far it found support at 1330. So moving forward, 1330 is the new support area right here. If you get, and this is a quick, quick trade. So if 1330 is going to hold, a trade over 1331.50 can be taken, 
Okay, so this is the entry 1331.50. Just going to take this right here. Um, if, over 1331.50, uh, and the stop is 1330.40, and I would, I would just give it a little bit of wiggle room. And look for targets. I'm going to give you the targets. First target is going to be 1333, 1335, and 1337. These are going to be the targets, okay? Uh, all right, let's wrap this up. CL, last one. We should get into some trades. CL. Okay. Uh, CL has uh, had a, a nice recoup um, from 6 o'clock, 6 uh, a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, yesterday, a pullback right here in extended hours. So yesterday, we had, had obviously a really nice rally. Uh, pullback right here into the uh, $47 area support level. Uh, so this is your support level. Uh, actually, it's trading into a lot of resistance right now. And uh, the pit is open for about eight minutes, and it's facing right now at this whole number at $48. If we break above $48, uh, we're going to continue higher. And the next target is going to be uh, actually, it's a really long target. It's going to be $49 and $49 and 40 cents. This is going to be the target for, uh, for CL. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you will have a wonderful weekend. Remember that we do have a futures class that is scheduled and it's filling out super fast. And remember that our classes are very small. So each individual student has uh, my undivided attention and uh, has my support throughout the trading week. Uh, through uh, emails and uh, our next class is October 15th through the 21st. We have the first two days, 15, 16 uh, education and uh, our schedule is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time and then from uh, the 17th to the 21st we have a trading lab. So for those of you that are interested in the class, please email me at info at tradeoutloud.com. More than happy to discuss with you your trading objectives as well as what we can do for you in this class. Thanks so much for joining and have a wonderful weekend, everyone.